How to use Musend, Musend email marketing tutorial for beginners. Hello guys and welcome to our video. In today's video, we will be discussing about Musend. And I will be teaching you on how you could use different features completely as a beginner. Now, as you can see right now on our screen, we have created a fresh new account. So we will be starting from scratch. Now, when you first create your account, this is what you're going to see. You have this welcome page and you have your to-do list over here that you're going to have to do your first to do is create your first email list then import your subscribers then set up your first from name and then create your first campaign so we're going to follow this for now so go with the step one create your first email list so we're going to click create an email list over here testing for now because we're going to be testing it then click on create after that there we go we now have our testing email list over here now in this section you will be able to view your dashboard view all members perform bulk actions set your settings create custom bills and also check out your segments over here so when we click on our dashboard we will be able to see our growth our source, our engagement by tag, our engagement breakdown, and top location. This is a very useful statistics page if ever you would like to see different types of data relating about your uh, group or your testing section over here. Uh, like what I said earlier. And we could also view all members. Right now, we don't have any members. But to be able to add one, I can simply click on add member. And as you can see, I will be able to add their email and then their name, then mobile over here. The name and mobile are completely optional, so you don't need to add that if you don't want to. But as you can see, uh, this list does not require additional consent. However, if you have consent from an external source, you could add ver members as verified for any feature. So you can simply put their checklist over here, then save member, and you will be able to add them. So let's say testing at uh, gmail.com then uh, save member and now we have one member you see go then you will be able to see who are active like percentage of members who are unsubscribes who are bounds and who are archive members of your member list over here then you can also perform bulk actions you can see when you click on perform bulk actions you can import members into a list. You could either add or update existing list members using files, integrations, or simply pasting data. You could archive list members. You could unsubscribe list members, delete list members, or you could copy members from another email list. And aside from that, you could also set your settings over here, like unsubscribe settings. You could put them over here, like the ending page that you'd like them to be set to after they write to your email. Then there's most obvious settings that they hear like single opt-in, opt-in, and strong double opt-in. Then you could create custom fields as well in this section. You have your email, name, mobile, then you could add a custom field, gender I guess. And then data type, say text or drop down. Then over here we could have mail. Uh, female and the other one is refuse to the closed there we go then you have this feedback additional value custom field is required or custom field is hidden and after that i can simply click on save custom field and now we have another custom field in our email over here then we have your segments you could add or create new segments in this section as you can see you have all of the segments that you can play around with and check it out uh, for now i'm going to go back to our home page so let's go back to our home page now we have our first email list now what we need to do is to import or set up our subscribers although we did this already in our adding a member earlier now uh, we are going to be redirected and asked to perform the set up your from name over here so we could set up a sender over here so by clicking that you can see this is where we will be able to edit the sender. So we could uh, edit this, edit it out. I could change the email. I could change the name over here. 
and I could also set up uh, the sections over here like the main key identify email and all of this information over here that can be useful to other types of people and you could also check out different settings over here now after that assuming we done that already we have set up our first from name we are now able to create our first campaign so when we click on create campaign we will now be able to create a regular campaign an a b testing or a repeatable campaign for a b testing this will create two types of email and it will show you which email are effective or rather which email are getting more clicks uh, getting more attention and compare them to the other type of email that is sent and it will show you which email is more effective and over here for the repeatable you can quickly set up digested or newsletter that can get their update content from a URL and are automatically sent whenever you want so for now we're going to go with the regular one you can see we have this section over here where we can create our campaign so set basic settings over here uh, two types of campaign type we have HTML and the plain text over here so we could create uh, HTML actually over here please create a sender other account so we're going to have to actually finish this so let's set this up verify the NS record it's not allowing us to set it up so we're going to ignore that for now and simply proceed either way so going back over here uh, this is how you will be able to do it uh, you have your campaign name you can put it over here let's say our campaign name is this testing again testing as our campaign name and subject line you could add your subject line then preview text and after that uh, this is going to see over here right now we don't have accepted senders but as you can see then you have your send confirm mission two. you can add an email over here then you can track your campaign with google analytics and you can also track it uh your campaign review over here and after that you can simply click on next and you will be able to proceed to the next step you could choose your different emails over here you could select all or no matter how many your subscribers are you can simply select them and and you will be able to send them directly to them and the email list right now earlier we created testing you could add as many subscribers there as you want and then you could simply select that entire group and send the campaign to them then after that to proceed make sure that you added a valid confirmation so how do we do that wait for it to load confirm to so we're going to go back here next and click on next and now click on next once again and now right here this is where we will be able to create our custom design and we can click on start designing and then we could start designing our campaign email that we will be sending to different people as you can see uh, we have different templates over here that we could use or we could check out you have your let your sunshine easter egg the witch you have your different categories over here abstract accommodation application articles automation baptism and all of this if you're looking for a specific template you could simply look them out over here and you could use the template that you want or you can also create something from scratch now for us let's say i would like to use this template over here simply click on use template and click on ok now it's going to load us our template and let's see and there we go we have this this is our template right here now we have this uh you have your different elements over here you can delete sections by simply selecting them and clicking on uh the settings over here then you could remove this by hovering then clicking on delete and you can delete that from that layout and over here uh when you hover on the different elements as you can see you will be able to select the specific section or the specific text that you want to edit for example the shop now i could select this and then you will be able to edit them you can see here like the background color the button color label color the border color all of those the button link the label and all of those information over here over here on the left side as you can see you have your layouts you could use different layouts over here to help you with your design and you can also click on items you could add images, texts, buttons, articles, spacer, social share, social media, HTML, timer, video, and product over here. It would also click on settings. And you can see like a general settings for your design over here. 
You can add background images, Google Fonts, all of this. Now, the way you design your email depends on your creativity. But after you edit your email, you will be able to also add some comments over here. A preview for when someone views your email in a desktop or a tablet or a mobile. This is what it would look like as you can see here. And there's also a code over here. You will be able to see the code for your design over here if ever you would like to see the code. And you also have your history over here. Then after that, you could either send a test, which will send this email to a test account. And you can also update, campaign, and continue. Then let's save it as a, a template. So let's say uh, first template for now. And click on save. And that will be it for our campaign or our template for our campaign. Now let's wait for it to save. There we go. We now have it as saved. So let's update and continue. Uh, click on yes. Then we will be redirected back to our homepage or rather the campaign section from earlier. So let's give it some time. There we go. And let's wait for it. And there we go. Now we can schedule our delivery. We could either have it as a send now campaign where we could enable this and it will be sent right away to our list that we have selected in our email list or we could have it as scheduled as you can see here we could choose the date and time and then the time zone and so when the time comes it will automatically send it to the email list that you have selected but for us let's say i want to send it now then we could simply click on next and you also have to reset caption or you have the option to reset campaign to non-clickers and as you can see, this is now our campaign. This is what our campaign would look like. And you will be able to see the different things that are correct with your campaign. And like as you see here, there is some X. So meaning these are sections that you need to fix. So after you fix all the things, you can simply click on send. And you will be able to finish and send the campaign that you have just created. And for us, we're going to save and exit. Now going back here on our campaigns, you will now be able to see your campaign section over here. Then you can see like information about it, like total campaign, average open, average clicks, and average unsubscribe. And there's there's new here over here if you would like to create a new campaign. Now going back to our homepage, and now that those are the things that you need to do to be able to use a uh, moose send especially on the campaign creation. Now, there's a lot of sensitive things that you would need to fix or you can like we did earlier, skipping a lot of things. But for you, I suggest that you thoroughly and accomplish them as at as possible to have a what to use it really. And after that, you so Things that you could do, you have your growth tools like landing pages if you would like to landing pages, or there's also subscription forms over here. You could create a new subscription forms, pop up in line the bar, uh, let's say pop up, then flip. And after that, you can click on next. Uh, you can also choose another design for your subscribe form. You can click on start. Let's see our output over here. Wait for it to load. There we go. You can simply choose the design right now for your subscribe in our uh, newsletter design. For example, I will use this one, use template, and go on OK. We will be able to use that template, and there we go. We will now be able to edit it uh, over here. You can simply select this specific section, and you can edit a specific section to here. Like different things here. Uh, I don't think you will be able to add, add, like, add things from them. But as you can see, this is how you will be able to create your subscribe now pop up for your Amusen uh, subscribe list. So after that, you can simply click on proceed to next step. And after that, uh, as you can see, the current design will be auto save and the form content will be updated. Do you wish to proceed? Simply click on yes, and then you will be able to proceed. So right now we're simply going to wait for the saving process, and then we can check that our earlier. 
I just wait for it to finish. And here we go. Now we got have these settings. Uh, you can see here, you can set the time that needs to pass before our returning or a first time visitor is to see your freaking seconds or minutes or hours. All of this, depending on how long you would like it to be. Or you could also set a timer that needs to have pass to seize your form again. Then you also have your advanced form things and other settings as well. Then you could add rules to it. Then so show the form. Someone leaves the page, show the form and something like about it. So enable this if you want. Uh, I can disable this if I want as well. Here we go. Uh, so after this, you can simply click on next. Now you will be able to choose your publishing method. You could either link it to your form, like the form from the campaign that we have created earlier, or you could embed it to your form, depending on your preference. Uh, let's say I would like to link it to our form. There we go. Then after that, I can simply click on next. And now you can see the summary over here, like the visibility, publishing, and what it would look like over here. Now, as you can see, there is something that we need to fix earlier again, but we're not going to do that, but for you, you have to fix the information over here that requires you to fix before you will be able to fully use it properly. And you can also create your landing pages if you want in this section and then you will be able to like track the total pages, total views, conversions, and average conversion rate as well. And we also have your audience, the email list and segments that we checked out earlier. And you can also view like the reports for the campaign and custom reports. And there's also automations that you can check out. Now let's see how we will be able to create a new landing page. So simply click on create new. Then you have your name over here like a thank you page I guess for the name. Thank you. The page title. Let's go with thank you again. Then meta description. Then you can add a favicon if you want. After that you simply click on next. Now we could create a design, we could choose from different templates once again to simply click on start designing then we will be able to choose from different uh, types of templates available right now as you can see there's a lot of different templates that you could choose from let's say let's go with this one click on use template and click on ok then we will be able to use that template and let's simply give it some time loading template and there we go we have our design over here, like what we did earlier. You could edit the different things by simply clicking on them. And you could customize it however you want. And after doing this, you can simply click on proceed to next step. Click on yes, then you will be redirected once again. Let's give it some time. And after this, uh, we will be able to proceed to the other steps for creating a landing page. Uh, this time so let's give it some time wait for it let's wait for a few seconds and there we go we will be redirected back to our home page over here now we can share it on our social media and we could simply share it on facebook or twitter depending on which platform you want then you could track your conversions and then you can also choose your publishing method you could choose it on your domain or you could embed it on external platforms and after that you can see a summary once again then you could publish your landing page and so that is how you will be able to create a landing page as well now there's also a shortcut over here that allows you to easily create a campaign an email list automation new landing page subscription form or a website very easily right away by simply clicking this and that's it guys, that is how you will be able to use Moosend and its different features as a beginner. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe. And also keep in mind, like I said earlier while we were discussing, keep in mind that you should ensure that the different information that you are entering are valid and accurate and so that the summary will show you or will not show you that you need to fix something because of course if you need to fix something it's going to give you some delays and some people also don't like to have some delays when they're doing their campaign so be careful with that so that you won't be able to find any issues later on when you create your campaigns and that's it guys thanks again
Thanks for watching.